Hey guys, welcome back to Paloa. Gonna run back over to our uh, newest field here. They're all new, but the one we purchased and grabbed the weight and the other bale or bells. I don't remember how many we left over here now. I think we're straight ahead. Yes, I think I see it. Yep, where's our weight at? Oh, did we lose a bale? That's right. Right on somebody's crop. That's not good. Outlet tool is uh, going crazy. It's got a mind of its own. Looks like something out of the Terminator. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, out of a uh, Predator. So, I think we need to get a lime spreader, and we're going to save these two bales. This bale's even heavy with that weight on the back. this way. There we go. Get a running start at it. There we go. Oh yeah, I turned course play off on this one. I don't. Whoa. I don't really think we're going to need it on this map, so... I think Bill can, uh navigate most of these builds on his own. So now I gotta figure out what shed I wanna put these in. Um, I don't know if I want to put him in the one across the road or up here. Wouldn't mind keeping them as close to the cow shed as possible, but we are going to be getting pigs too. So I think maybe having... All right. I see you cars. Ugh. We did it. We did it. Um... Maybe having some in each shed ain't going to be a bad idea. But I don't even know if uh, 
There's a straw shredder that can shred these. So. I think this is our shed here. Almost positive. Yeah. Yeah, it might be a little too small. Oops, we lost a bell. Darn it. Looks like we're going to start out today with a uh, with some bell shenanigans going on. Now I don't even know what I'm caught on. All right, where else can we put these? I'm actually kind of curious. See if they will take this without without a uh, shredder. I don't think so, but it's worth a shot. Oh yeah, it is. Nice. Alright, well that gets rid of one of them. Now what are we stuck on? There we go. Gone, sir. Let's see if we can bring our tanker back to real quick.
Get this on the front, and then we'll attempt to push the tanker back over and then hook up to it. Because I want to get... Um, I want to get a, a grass field planted. Um, nope. Well, today just seems like it's a cluster. And I doubt we're going to be able to... Yeah. Hmm. One of the maps I was looking at had a had a front loader you could use. Since I don't have forks or anything on this. Let me try it just with the uh, the front loader attacher or the front loader arms. Oh, there we go. Look at there. It's crazy how. How much cleaner the graphics are and stuff with the uh, with the new setup I have. Everything looks more crisp and he's serious. Oh well, you know what? We'll come get that later. Guess I need to drop the weight off. Yeah, I think them deer are targeting us. Let's see how far this one will reach. I think we got this whole field done. This whole field's done. Get up here and do our new field. I wanted to buy this field. Last episode, when I was looking at fields, I kept looking at this one, but then when I was checking prices and stuff, I was checking the one down further didn't snap at it I'm sure some of you guys did but I didn't not until I was watching the video or editing And I don't... Yeah, I think we have to move into October to be able to do the uh, soybean field.
Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. If... Yeah, I think we got to do all this area too. I know I'm wasting a little bit of money, but I can't really see the 82, 83. I can't really see the division line on the on the fields. All right, now let's send everything off for laboratory analysis. go here so 82 okay it's almost all loam that's why we bought it and then 53 is all clay so that's That's probably a good grass field. So let's go ahead and get our go ahead and get our cedar and get that planted real quick. We should be able to plant grass fields. Am I going the right way? Yes. <laughs> Still don't know the map yet. Got to find a uh, landmark reference points. Nice. There was a little road right here. Oops. In between those fields. But there's not, of course. So I think I'll put the soil sampler just under the canopy for now because we're going to take it over to you. We're going to take it over to the soybean field. So we'll just drop it right here by this post. Now let me go grab the forks. We're going to need to get some, uh, we're going to need to get some, ah, my mouse is still too sensitive. Um, we're going to need to get some seed and fertilizer to put in our cedar there. There we go. to go with this one for now we'll just put it up to a thousand liters 
none of our fields are that huge. Um, well, they don't even charge you for the extra extensions, which is good. So let's go with the 800, or what is it, 8,000 liters of lime. There we go. And then we'll go with, ah, we'll just go with a normal bag of fertilizer for now. Oh. And I guess a normal bag of seed. Just don't let me forget I put the weight right here. Okay. We're going to need to be able to put the lime spreader on the back and then bring, hopefully, a couple bags with us. This is a tight little shop area. Or, yeah, a tight little shop area. So is that our lime right here? Let me bring the lime and I guess the fertilizer back first. Then we can come back for the seed. That way we can get up here and get these two fells limed and we have the lime with us. Then we'll come back and grab the seed when, once we get ready to plant.
How did I miss our house? I don't even see what the spread was on this. I need to unfold the spreader. Okay. Almost the perfect width. Need to get the fertilizer away from, away from us. All right. I know if I go fill the lime up, it's gonna fill the fertilizer. I'm not really sure what we want to put in the other field. I would think probably something that'll help benefit the animals, which both of these fields will benefit the animals. Guys, I think this is going to be the last uh, 3,000 liters, or I'm sorry, last 1,000 liters of lime. There can't be much more than that. Yeah, 127 liters. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't get it finished, but we got it started. We're not planting this one right now anyways. So let's, uh, let's get back over to the yard. We'll grab... Um the cedar and we'll do the grass in those two fields real quick oh I think I might have went the wrong way dang it no we gotta make a I'll learn these roads I just gotta get used to it Now I kind of know where we're at. Turn right at the cornfield. I think. Or is the cornfield over there more? Oh, looks like they just harvested the cornfield. That used to be corn, I believe, right here. Oh no, yeah, the corn's got to be over there somewhere. Oh well. We'll just take this road. I think I had my seatbelt on or I would have went through the windshield on that one.
These tractors are pretty quiet. It's actually, oops. There, oh no. Did it again. All right, let's. This might be my new parking spot for this tractor. As long as everything fits in here. We could even do that if we have to, to go up a tiny bit further. Alrighty. Let's exit the track door. And... Alright. Where's our... Where's our big tractor at? Yes. That's the one I was talking about. Oops. I unhooked, pulled up six feet and now it won't it should just rehook instantly there we go let's go to that one and then we can unhook properly Oh, does this one not spread fertilizer? Okay. Well, I guess we'll be spreading fertilizer. Oh, our seed's still over there. Dang it. Let's see if we can roll down this hill. I didn't look for cars. Oh well. Who cares? Alrighty, guys. Yeah. I guess we can go touch up this edge a little bit. Um, I know I missed a little bit back there. I was kind of just following where the line went. It didn't snap at first that I was missing part of the grass. Or part of the field itself. Alrighty. 
Now we got two fields planted. It's not going to be a ton of grass, but as long as it produces enough to give to the cattle, we, uh, we, uh, might have to get a smaller baler. Just lease one to get to get the smaller grass bells and stuff. Uh, until we get more of a land area to be able to use the Heston baler properly, because I don't want to put it in the Heston baler and then not get a bell out, and we need we need it for the cattle. So I'm not getting rid of the Heston baler, but like I said, we might have to get a smaller one. Um, I have one in mind that it'll wrap and bale at the same time. Um, the problem we run into is the grass. So, hey, yeah, I'm not sure. I oh, know we won't really need grass because we can even feed the sheep if we get them hay. Uh, yeah, we'll play it by ear. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.